Hello everybody, so today is my second day in Kyoto and then we are going to try the kimonos today and then basically tour uh, the downtown Kyoto area. So I'm here at the Yunari station. Um, the station itself is very interesting. And from this way, oh, you can see it once you just go outside, I guess I didn't have to walk. Uh, but before that, because our kimono try-on is at 11 or 10, I forget. So before that, I wanted to uh, go to this jinja called Fujian Daohe Shenshe. It's one of the most popular, most famous shrine in Kyoto. And I figured I wanted to go there as early as possible to avoid the crowds. I arrived at a okay time, but there were a lot of people already. And I think like middle school or high school students, they come here for school trips. So basically, if you get off at Inari Station, you just see it in front of you. To be honest, at this point, every Shinja looks the same. They all have an entrance, and then on this side is this thing in the middle, and then finally you have the main main hall, or main building. So they're doing something in here, but I can't record. Um, I think I'm just going to head to the top because this is what it's best known for. They have like hundreds of these um, niaoju above like you can see right there. So after you buy like omamori in the front, uh, you can come to the back and this is when you start climbing the mountain and that's also when you start to see all of these um, tori or niaoju and which is what this uh, Shinja is famous for. So took a bunch of photos, uh, sort of wasted some of my time, but I guess that's okay. Let me see if I can get on top as quickly as possible. So I was taking a lot of pictures at the beginning. Um, it, it was a mistake because I didn't know um, the tollies would be all over the mountain. So I definitely recommend that you walk deeper or uh, go further down and then you will find a place where there's like no one and then you can take very scenic photos uh, there. This is very deceptive because if you go down, it's upwards. And then if you go to the top, it's downwards. So <laughs> I kind of don't want to go up. I kind of want to like, don't feel like this is going up. But I mean, here we go. So less and less people as you go up to the mountains, of course, and then it's just very pretty when there is no one and you can just even enjoy it completely. Um, but I think it took me maybe 45 minutes to get to the top. They don't really have a map, they just have like these handwritten, hand-drawn like sketches that you can look at. But, but I think the direction is pretty clear. and. Um, when you reach about halfway, you can come to this platform where you can have this overlook, um, but it's not big, so you can take a picture and then you keep climbing up. So I think this is the top. I have to admit, the top is not impressive at all. It's very small and it's basically this little shrine with a lot of tolly again. So we're, we're back and look at how many people are here. Dang! So I'm off, off that mountain and I made a really good friend, we had a talk, so I'm running late. Um, for some reason the subway today is just crazy because, um, yeah, like, it was late. And I'm here looking for the kimono place and we are about an hour late. I don't know if you, they still take us though. So that looks like it. Where am I supposed to go? So we made an appointment yesterday with this place, um, with this kimono place near Kyoto Station. And we got there um, and then basically you come in, you pick your shoes, you pick your kimono. So it seems like we can choose. Ooh, which one should I choose? And uh, afterwards you go into this fitting room area where you, um, they help you to put everything on. Um, the, everything is like... I think like six layers or something there are so many parts to a kimono and then those people who help you put this on are really nice like they ask you oh do you feel okay it's very tight in the abdominal area i have to be honest um but afterwards um you get your hair done and you get dressed and then you pick your 
shoe and your bag um, and then you are free to go as long as you return the kimono by like 5 30 p.m all right so this is what i look like let's head out and my shoes so after we came out we went on the bus yes the bus so don't be awkward at all there will be plenty of people walking around in kimonos all tourists and then i think the local people will understand so don't be afraid just be careful because the shoes are really not comfortable there's really no way for me to wear that kind of shoes and walk this much so i changed back to my running shoes it feels kind of weird wearing kimono and walking but it's actually not that uncomfortable as i expected and then we're able to like make big steps as well so i i'm able to climb a mountain with this i think it's just like here waist area is a little bit tight if i remember correctly the first stop we did was um Qingshui Su, but it's just like uh if you google it it will show up it's it's not a big deal everything in total is worth seeing because everything is just so historical this is so nice especially when there's um sakura in the air i don't think there's much to be said it's just a lot of people a lot of people taking pictures and then just near the temple uh, it was this little um, shop that was really cute and I thought it was really Japanese and it, it, I took some pictures here and then we ordered tango and then also one thing you have to try in Kyoto is matcha so right outside of um, Qingris is Ninianban or Liangbanban it's basically this commercialized street with all sorts of souvenirs foods you name it I feel like if I was gonna visit for a second time this would not be a place I would come back especially not in a kimono so after this we went back to the bus and then we went to Zhiyuan I think it's called Gion and um, basically we walked along this really beautiful path look at this tree this is still very beautiful even though it has like green leaves so Sally just had her interview and then we stopped one stop early um, from Gion but this is a very nice path that I'm glad we took so this place is called Zhiyuan. It's basically an area with like uh, vintage structures and buildings and nice scenic spots for photos. If you keep walking along this um, street, uh, you will get to this uh, temple called Kenninji. Nothing much, seen this too much, take a picture and then leave. Uh, you go back to that street and then you go to the other side of the street. Um, this is going to be Ba Cheng. So it's kind of fun walking into one of... Oh, they were a lot of people walking around here. To us to take pictures with us. I think that's just we have a nice combination of colors. And uh, behind me is Ba Ban Shen She. That's gonna be our last destination before we return these. And then my feet hurt. You really can't. You really like need to take small steps. This is Ba Ban Shen She. So yes, again, take pictures, enjoy the view. Um, not many people at this hour, uh, but still it was hot. And um, yeah, nothing much. And afterwards, I think we just left. So right now we're on our way back. Uh, it's almost 5.30. So we're gonna return this at 5.30. And um, you know what's interesting? I really don't wanna take this off because the whole day I've been wearing it, I don't see myself, that's the thing. So. I actually, I, I feel like I haven't got enough chance to see what I, what I look like and enjoy how I look in this kimono. So yeah, it's sad that I have to take this off soon. Taking it off was rather easy. You just leave it to her. Leave, leave everything to her and then you're basically done. And so we came to Osaka station and uh, we're looking for okonomiyaki because we thought um, we must try okonomiyaki in 
Okay. So we just had our. Oh shoot! I forgot to record the yaki. So, I mean the okonomiyaki. But anyways. Sorry. Here it is. It was on my Instagram. We are out and we're looking for a supermarket. But I mean, we're basically still in the in the station. It's crazy how big the station, how lively, how much stuff the station's got. It's crazy. And just like 15 feet away, we're out to another, like a different line. So this is not JR, this is not Shingani, this is another line. And oh my god, this is crazy. We just came out of there and what do you see? Huge, huge Ferris wheel. Wow, look at that. Isn't this cool? I'm like, I'm like left in this 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 world of I don't know of of shopping of uh, whoa, what is this? Oh my god, there's just so much to see. Seriously, like I'm from LA, and I feel like LA is like shit. It's like rural. It's horror. This is like the city. This is the life. Yo, 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 peace! It's another good day and we're going to Universal Studio today!